In this Behind the Brand video, we are going to take you behind the scenes with the one and only Russell Brunson. Stay tuned. What's going on everyone? Henry Kaminsky here from uniquedesigns.net with another Behind the Brand Wednesday video for you guys. Today we are going to feature one of my mentors from back in the day who has really helped me grow and build my personal brand and really scale my agency to you know the levels that they're at today and really help me with some, some mindset things and some digital marketing things that really just absolutely skyrocketed my growth. But it's not about me today, guys. I wanna showcase his personal brand and give you some insights and tips on what's working really, really well for him so that you can implement some of this inside of your brand. So let's dive in and check out his website. So here is the russellbrunson.com website right away. He's got a very simplistic logo top left. He's got his navigation on the right that basically just scrolled the different sections of the landing page. Notice that he, yeah, this, this website is actually built on his software. So he's a practitioner of his own product, which is very, very important. You gotta believe in what it is that you do and you know, for other people to, to buy in, correct? So right away, he starts off with a video and again, it's all about who is Russell Brunson. They always start with their story. So that is a very, very common trend. And then he starts with his uh, credibility. So he's been featured in Forbes, Entrepreneur, The Huff Post, Profit, right? Talks about his backstory, his career, how he got started, right? And then he features his, process, uh, his product, ClickFunnels, and how he created that. And then he goes into the giving back and the charity. And notice that he's very strategic with the use of his videos. And he also over here on the top right has a pinned sizzle reel of himself that you can't really get away with. I highly encourage you guys to create some sort of sizzle reel video or some backstory video. I call them mini documentaries. You could call them whatever you want, but it's very, very important that you tell the story. If you don't tell your story, there's gonna be nothing that your audience is going to be able to connect with. And notice guys, even the bigger brands today, they're creating characters, they're creating people that actually represent the brand. So it's very, very important because your personal brand is the differentiating factor of your business and separates you from everybody else in the industry. So it's very important that you invest in your personal brand because if you don't, you're just gonna blend in with everybody else and it's really gonna be hard to separate why you're so much better than the other companies that do exactly what you do. So very, very important to get that video out there. You can even go to my website, uniquedesignswithaz.net and see the part one video, part two video of my story. And I, I, I can't tell you how many times people told me how much they resonated with that story. And it was one of the reasons why they moved forward and actually begin to work with me. So very, very important. So Russell uses video and story beautifully. Talks about his personal life. So you get a chance now. I know Russell personally, and he's a very, very personable guy. You know, he's like the kid next door, right? But I will tell you, he is a businessman at the same time. And when he goes after something, he goes after it all in. And there's really no stopping him. And um, I think he gets that from like his wrestling career back in high school. Because when you get on that mat, right, it's like do or die. And uh, when he brings that mentality and that mindset and that, 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 that hunger into his business, you know, it really, really shows. And that's why he's so damn successful. So as we continue down his site, you can click on these icons and 
start to follow him on different platforms. Now, com compare this section here to the Jay Shetty social media links. Remember Jay Shetty's website last week, his social media icons were white, the background was white, and they were really, really hard to see. Now look what Russell did. The coloring is very, very contrasty. So there's great contrast here. So these pop and stand right out, and that's all you gotta do is click on them, and it brings you right to his social media channels. He also references his books. Notice how many call to actions are on this page. So I highly recommend these books, by the way. These are phenomenal, phenomenal books um, to read if you want to really position yourself in the digital marketing space and really get a good understanding of how digital marketing works. And uh, he's done a really great job with, um, with those two books. So congrats, Russell, when you watch this. Um, love those two books. So down here, he's got his podcasts. And then right away, he's got more videos to consume, right? He's also showcasing his ClickFunnels uh, product, right? And it's very easy for him to uh, kind of lure you in, if you will, and get you into his marketing and sales funnel, right? So here's his community. Now, one thing about Russell, he is phenomenal at creating community and creating audience and following. I remember when I first went to Russell Brunson's Funnel Hacking Live back four years ago, it was his first one. I think there was maybe 300 of us in the room and he has 10X that. I think this one now coming up in March of 2019, he's probably got like 4,000 people I heard coming to Nashville, Tennessee. So, you know, he's he knows how to build audience and really grab attention. And what he's really, really good at is evoking the emotion out of you. I'll tell you a quick little story. When I first met Russell or didn't meet him personally yet, but started to figure out who he was, I was glued to his podcast at the time. And the way he did his podcast is very similar to how I do mine. It's very personable. He tells stories and he drops little nuggets here and there about his products, his service. And that's how I kind of got into his inner circle program. He kept talking about his inner circle client, inner circle member, inner circle. And I'm like, what is this inner circle stuff? So finally he dropped the URL and I went to it and I filled out the application and I went and talked to his salespeople and boom, he got me right in. So see how simple that was. See how personable that was. Why aren't you doing this in your business? And I think a lot of times people focus so much on the product, the service, the getting the leads, the this, the that, and they don't focus on that personal touch. And when you show people you know, how much you care about them, when they see that passion and they see that you're approachable, they see that you're relatable, they see that you're relevant, you're much more prone to going after them and, and seeking them out for their expertise and their help versus somebody that's hiding behind their brand, you know, that doesn't put themselves out there. They don't have much video. Um, you don't know, even know what they look like. You know, I see this over and over again. And I tell you what doesn't get seen, doesn't get sold. You know, you heard me say that a thousand times, but it's so true. So Russell Brunson's website is a phenomenal example of Optimiz op optimizing lead generation. Look at how many calls to actions he has on this page, right? He's done a very, very good job with presenting himself as a subject matter expertise. You can click here, you get his bio, which is great. So what is it? So what is this? Uh, I see. So it actually brings you to a big picture. Okay, that's cool. So the brands, so you can actually go to his website and probably right click save image as, yeah, and you could pull his um, logos off of, right off his website, which I, I love that, you know, especially if he's working with designers or you wanna share some of his content, you wanna brand it with his logo. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's why he's doing that. So it just goes to show you guys when you're creating a personal brand, it comes down to evoking emotion. 
and really, really presenting yourself as a subject matter expertise. Now, I may have some few, I, I may have a few critiques here when it comes to his website. You know, I, I, I think that he, at this level of, of ex, subject matter expert, right? I think he can update the quality of the design. I see some room of improvement there. However, I noticed that he is using ClickFunnels uh, for his website and there are some limitations in design. You can't really go crazy like you could do design on a WordPress platform, for example, right? But I still think um, there is some room for improvement there when it comes to designing uh, that page because when you look at our uh, funnel designs, you can see a huge difference in the quality of design. And I can show you right now. Let me share screen real quick and kind of show you a quick example of one of our funnel designs. So, giving you an idea of what our funnel designs look like. Right, so when you go to book a consult. So this page right here, this is actually a ClickFunnels page. And it looks very, very similar to his WordPress site, which is this, right? So there is room to grow from a design standpoint when you're designing in ClickFunnels, okay? So maybe that's my only critique, but man, Russell does one hell of a job when it comes to building an audience, really letting everything out, and his personality is phenomenal because it really, really it brings you in, and it's, it's, he's, he's easily, he's easy to relate to. That's, that's the biggest thing here. He's very easy to relate to, and I think that's the difference between the mega personal brand influencers and the folks that are struggling trying to get to the next level with their subject matter expertise and they're, they're breaking that glass ceiling of maybe doing eight or $9,000 in revenue per month to doing 40, 50, 60, 80 to hundred thousand dollars in revenue per month is really getting yourself out there and showcasing your expertise. Now notice if, we didn't get into those videos, but if you just go to russellbrunson.com, you'll see more of his videos. He's always teaching. He's always putting out valuable content. And I think when people really showcase that they know what they're talking about and put themselves out there, it's the game changer. You know, you notice the, the strategies that I've been pulling away from these guys is on my Instagram and my YouTube is, you know, I, I cut up my strategy calls with my clients and obviously they give me permission to do that, but you actually see me coaching them. So right away you're thinking to yourself, what can he do for me? Maybe I should hire Henry. No, this guy's the real deal, right? Because that's what it comes down to. In this space, in this digital marketing space, online marketing, it's very, very hard. And everybody's calling themselves an expert these days, right? So how do you stand out? Well, you show and prove. You actually do what it is that you say you do. And it's, <laughs> I don't understand why people get this so, make this so complicated or hesitate to put themselves out there. Because here, here's the other side of it. Don't put yourself out there. Hide behind the logo. Hide behind the website. Don't put any content out there and see what kind of attention you bring. See how well you resonate with your audience. See how well your brand connects with your audience on a emotional level. It's not gonna happen, and you're gonna suffer from obscurity day in and day out. So if you want change, you have to change. You have to bring out your best self. You have to put your best foot forward. If you want quality clients, then you gotta be quality, right? Because quality attracts quality. So there you have it, guys. Hope you got some value out of this video this week. Big shout again to my man, Russell Brunson. He is continuously crushing it, and he's a big inspiration to me to this day. And I have to tell you guys, 
without his mentorship at that point in my life back in what 2013 14 i doubt i would be where i'm at today so russ if you watch this big shout to you man thank you for everything that you've done for me and my family and um I wish you nothing but the luck in the future, man. So have an amazing day, guys. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, hit that little subscribe button. Drop some comments below. If you have any questions, if you want me to dig a little deeper into something, for any of you guys that follow me, you know that I respond to just about everybody um, that has a real serious question or a comment that they want me to dig a little deeper into. So drop that down below and uh, I will get back to you as soon as I can. So stick around guys. I have more videos coming your way when it comes to building your personal brand, leveling everything up so that you can just crush it in your industry and become the obvious choice. So have an amazing day. I'll catch you on the next video.